Now, given two complex numbers raised to large powers or powers which are fraction, when you have that, it is quite difficult to solve. However, with the use of the Demov's theorem, it makes them quite simple. So the Demov's theorem is given by z to the power n equals r to the power n multiplying cos n theta plus i sine okay? n theta like this. So this is what the Demov's theorem is about. So what it means is when I have a complex number, let's say z and in the polar form of z or the polar form z in the polar form is r into bracket cos theta plus i sine theta if i want to find z to any power let's say z to the nth, nth power what it means is i am raising all of this everything here which is z The word, the, to the nth power, that is what it means. And by so doing, I'm going to have, I'm going to have this z will be equal to z to the power n will be equal to. I raise the modulus to the power, then multiply the arguments by the power. So if the power is n, so n by theta plus i sine n by theta. So that is what the Demov's theorem is about now let's solve an example calculate two multiplying cos pi over five plus i sine pi over all of this to the power 5. So what it means is we phrase the whole of this to the 3th power. For example, what you are going to do, so solution. This is the uh, moduli, right? And these are the arguments. So what you are going to do is to raise the moduli to the power. So 5 to the power, 2 to the power 5, and you multiply the power to the arguments, cos 5 over 5 times 5 plus i sine 5 over 5 times 5. 2 to the power 5 is going to give us what? 32. Then this will cancel this, this will cancel this. We're going to have cos i plus i sine 5. Yes, and if we want this in the rectangular form or the Cartesian form, we're going to have just 32. All right. Because cos pi is 1 and sine pi in radians is what? 0. So this is what we're going to have in the rectangular form or the Cartesian form. All right. Let's take an, another example. Alright, example two, we're having cos pi over four plus i sine pi over four to the power one over three the solution. This is what we have cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. Cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4 all to the power 1 over 3. What it means is that here the modular is 1. 
the moduli is one. So if we raise one to the power one over three, we are still going to have one. So you can just ignore that part and multiply the arguments by the power. So you are going to have cos pi over four pi over 4 times 1 over 3 plus i sine pi over 4 times 1 over 3 at the end of the day I'm going to have something like this cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4 is going to be our final answer. All right, let's take the last example. What do we do when we have let's say z equals one plus i to the power six? Z equals one plus i to the power six. Now, when you have a question like this, this is not in the what in the polar form so you have to first of all convert what you have in the bracket to what polar form then you raise the answer that you get in the polar form to the seed power so what are we going to do the first thing is you are going to find out what's the modulus the modulus or the magnitude will be square root of one squared plus one squared so we are going to have magnitude of z as square root of what Two. Right, then we, we find out the argument. So here we have the real axis and the imaginary axis. It's obvious that this is going to lie in the first quadrant, and that here is going to be theta 1, 1. So then theta will be equal to 1 over 1, which is just 1. Theta will be equal to what? Then inverse of 1. So theta is going to be what? 45 degrees in the first quadrant. We maintain our 45 degrees. We are going to have the, the, the whole of this in the polar form as z equals square root of 2 multiplying cos 45 degrees plus i sine 45 degrees all to the power at six because the whole of this here is, here, is this in the polar form the whole of this here is just one plus i in the polar form and the six here or the power six is still here so we basically done nothing to it we just converted it from the Cartesian form to the La form right. and erase okay so you shouldn't forget that the question is z equals one plus i to the seed power all right so we now have this z equals square root of 2 multiplying cos 45 degrees plus i sine 45 all to the c power and what did we say about the remorse theory you raise the argument to the power sorry the modulus to the power so root 2 to the power at 6 and you multiply the arguments by the power so you're going to have cos into bracket 45 times what 6 plus i sine into bracket 45 times 6 this is what you are going to have so z will go to square root of z to the power 6 is going to give us 8 we are going to have cos 270 plus i sine 200 and what so z is going to be 8 out cos 270 is 0 plus i sine 270 is going to have negative 1 so negative 1 times i is negative i so z is basically 
8 multiplying negative i. So z is going to give us negative 8i. So when you raise 1 plus i to the sixth power, you're going to have negative 8i. So this is how we solve complex numbers to highest powers or powers of fraction using the de Morgan's theorem. It's very simple. All I have to do, if it is in the Cartesian form, is to convert it into the what, polar form. Then you raise the modulus to the power, then you multiply the arguments by the power, then you simplify and get your answer. Thank you for watching this video.